Hey guys, welcome back to the last Animal Crossing video. Very excited for this one. Starting off with a bit of a slower time lapse on this one, just so I can show you obviously how I mix the inks and how I test them. So we're starting off with the golden yellow. All of these are Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay India inks, as you obviously see on the bottles. Well, I'll start off with water first. It's normally around about two to three drops of water, depending on how diluted I want the ink. I don't think I've ever used the ink straight out of the bottle. I've always mixed it in with water. Then we have Van Dyke Brown. This is a really nice brown as well. As you'll see as I swatch it. This one I needed it to be a little bit more concentrated, so instead of the normal two drops, I used three. The light's shining a bit on the card so you can't see much, but I do bring it down towards the actual palette. And then you have Serpia. Serpia is the one I've used on all of my pictures. It's the one that I use for shadows. This is the one that's had the two drops of ink to three drops of water. So this one, I don't need it to be very saturated. I need it to be watery. Because it's only suggesting that it's there. And then the brushes that I use as well are the Winds of a Newton. So it's susceptible to Sable Synthetic. Very nice brush. I absolutely love this one. And then just a regular old ones with Newton Common. They're not that special, but they hold the water really well for inks for what I need them to do. As you can see there, those were the tones that I'd got achieved with them. So on to the actual thing. So as you can see, it's Isabel. Figured I'd end on a, a fan favourite. Doing all the usual shadows, all the highlights. To say I'm happy that this is the final one is a bit of an understatement. I am very much looking forward to moving on to something else now. As much as I've enjoyed doing these, I think I've had enough of little cute creatures for a little bit. But I am proud it is the first time I've managed to do a series of any sort of art normally. I would get bored after the first one, maybe two. And then move on to the next one. So the fact that I've managed to stick through and get a decent amount done. I am seriously patting myself on the back with this one. What I did use on this one, which I didn't before, because I didn't have it, is a white wax pencil. The name of it escapes me. But basically on things that I wanted there to be a, a obvious contrast, so like on her shirt, she has like a leaf pattern. So I literally just did a random leaf pattern on the shirt and then went over with the watercolour. And because it's wax, it doesn't go over it. So your pattern just pops straight through. So that is now a nice little addition. Do my watercolour process now. And again, same watercolours that I'm using, it's the Prima Marketing ones. I believe I used the Essence Odyssey Decadent Pies. 
and the other one always escapes me. But it will, it will be down in the description. So if you guys want to have a look at which ones I use, you can have a look down there. But obviously on the last one, it's also the one that's actually inside. I was originally going to be having her walking outside, but you don't see Isabel do that. So I decided, you know what? Let's have her at a desk, but instead of her kind of just looking up when she gives her little announcements at the beginning of the game, I decided to have her smiling, so I've changed her expression up. And considering it's absolutely sunny here, I decided to have her in the uh, summer shirt as well. And on the background, it's the usual gouache as well, so Arteza and the Royal Talons and then pencils trying to get that little microphone to shine was just annoying as well I think need to uh, get a new black pencil because it is running out as you can see there. It did well. I mean, this one, I think out of all of them, this one took me the least amount of time to get done. And considering where I started with the watercolours to where I finished, I'd say there's an improvement, especially if it's taken me less time to come from start to finish. So really happy with the progress that I've made on it. But here we go. All done. Nice little one to finish on. And we have Isabel. So as usual, I hope you guys like and enjoy this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, share, follow me on any of my social channels down in the description. All of it is absolutely welcome. And that, as I say, is that for these Animal Crossing ones. And see you again in the next video. See what we're up to. Bye!